A faster website directly translates into a better SEO ranking and more organic traffic. And gzip compression is one of the easiest but most effective ways to speed up your site. In this video, you'll learn three ways to ensure that gzip compression is enabled on your website. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. A website's code generally contains white spaces, comments, and page breaks to make it easy for human eyes to follow. However, all this formatting takes up unnecessary space and becomes a huge burden while transferring the information across to a user. Gzip is a file compression software that breaks up heavy HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files into smaller bits to make the web page easier and faster to load. And since all modern browsers support Gzip, there are no compatibility issues either. You can use online tools like Gift of Speed to check whether Gzip is already enabled on your website. Just paste your website's URL and click check. Another manual way of checking the encoding is by using Google Chrome's developer tool. Open your website in the Chrome browser and access developer tools using the shortcut Ctrl Shift I. In the developer's tools, click on the network tab. and scroll up in the left column until you see your website's URL. Click it, and switch to the headers tab if you're not on it already. Here, the content encoding option will show whether gzip compression is enabled on your website. If it's not enabled, you'll see BR. In which case, you can use these three ways to enable gzip compression on your WordPress website. Since gzip is server-side technology, most web hosting providers automatically enable gzip compression from their own end without you having to do anything. So in case it's not enabled, the best option is to reach out to your web hosting provider about the issue. Plugins like W3 Total Cache and WP Super Cache are great for enabling gzip compression quickly and easily. Install the W3 Total Cache plugin. Head to General Settings under the Performance tab. Then jump to the Browser Cache section and make sure it's enabled. Next, head to the Browser Cache settings under the Performance tab. Here, make sure the Enable HTTP gzip compression option is turned on. Save the settings when you're done. This method requires you to access your site using FTP and edit the .ht access file, thus it's not recommended if you're not confident. Check out this video to learn more about editing WordPress source code files. Once there, navigate and open the .ht access file in the public HTML folder. Then, simply add this bit of code without changing anything else. You can copy the code from the article in the description. Save and close the file when you're done. With that, gzip compression has been enabled on your website. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.